Greetings, people. No borrow here, and welcome back to some more Nordic Ash. And well, I have managed to actually beat the uh, <laughs> uh, Alfheim on hard. I did it with Thyra because, in my opinion, this character is very much if you get what you need as fast as you can, she's probably the strongest. If you ha are forced to have to uh, go and like kind of re-roll into it. Probably the worst. So hopefully we can get something good. I'm going to try it again on hard mode. Just to show off the final boss. So they are kind of interesting. Starting with the bow because uh, the bow is a good weapon. Alright, so we do have a shrine that will allow us to get a mushroom. I might... I kind of want to grab as much money as I can though. As quick as I can. I will be honest with you. The, sh the mushroom is a good item. It does give us a little bit of everything stat wise. Because, well... All stats are important. Um, but I'm going to go and search a little bit. See if we can find anything else cool. Because I, I want money. I really do want money. Uh, purple tonic. Oh god, why am I drawing a blank as to which one that is? I don't think it's necessary. So that's kind of meh. I would have loved to have got like this. Mm, I don't really care about it right now. Actually, I was going to say the... I think it's called greed that makes it so you scale with money, but I kind of have to spend money the first cycle, so I don't need that right away. If it's in the shop, I wouldn't say no to it. Okay, green tonic is. Okay, purple was the attack speed one. Green is green's move speed. Okay, that's a good one. I'm gonna definitely want more move speed. Move speed is an incredibly important stat. It's your main defense. Uh, damn it. Come on, damage. Yes. Nope. Damage and crit is beautiful. <sighs> Area is a horrible stat. Uh, I will take damage. Who's got damage there? All right, let's grab this. That is the move speed. Yes, it is. It does drop your cooldowns, which does suck. Which hopefully we can get some more cooldown. But yeah, I'm zooming now. Alright, so the bow is doing decent, so now that we're... Nope, that's not where I want to be. Let's go over here. Oh, look at that. That was nice. Because we want this money... 18 is an okay amount. That'll allow me to do two rerolls plus a pickup of an item. Which is... Good. Preferably, it would be the items I'd want. We'd just be in the shop, and then if we could have, like, 20 gold. Which we are getting three, actually. We get three gold upon reaching the shop. So that's not horrible. I really do want this mushroom. I don't really want the... I don't think I'm going to worry about the attack speed tonic, because it does also drop my cooldowns. That kind of sucked. I probably should have just waited until the attack was over to try to pick that up. My bad, but hopefully we'll get some uh, good stuff to drop. Alright, come on. Look at this mushroom. The mushroom's almost here. Alright, we got it. Good. That's a tiny bit of everything. And then I guess we'll just search for more boxes, but I'm probably try to kill these elites. Probably should play some skill points, though. Damaging projectiles. Nice. Damaging crit. Nice. Damaging cooldown. Nice. Damaging cooldown. Oh, that's... Yes, this bow is going to be great. Alright. Crit might have been better on the Legendary, but I am not going to waste any time trying to get that. We want a maxed out weapon as fast as humanly possible, because we definitely want it. And that was bad on my part. I am aware. Because... Ooh, got a chest, and oops, that was that was an extra bad on my part. Getting excited about how good my build is, I'm going to ruin it. I kind of wish I could actually look at my stats on my weapon right now. Uh, I didn't get very many crits, so I don't know if the 5% crit's going to be too useful. Do I have any base crit? 
the mushroom give base crit? Yes, yeah, gives 2% only. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go with the crit. So what are we at um, for crit? 22. That's not amazing, but it's also not bad. Alright, so essentially what we really want to do is find bows in the shop. I will take the slingshot as well, though, because the slingshot's an amazing weapon. I am not going to kill myself for a rock right now, because that would be stupid. Never kill yourself for an item, because that run ends the run. <laughs> and also, a rock isn't an amazing item. Adding one extra damage is nice, because like it is flat damage, but you know, it's only one. It was not quite enough to be incredible. I will work on that. Nope. I don't know. I would like to see maybe maybe the rock could use a buff. Rock and the stick could both like at least stick gives attack speed. But rock doesn't really. I don't know. Rock's kind of weak, but, like, if you find it as a free item, it's like, sure. There's no downside to it. Oh, my. How much long? Okay, we have a little bit. <sighs> Definitely would like to pick that shield up. I just don't want to spend 15 gold on it right now. So we'll wait to see the shop. Ah! Sea Urchin as a free item is alright. Again, not amazing. Sea Urchin is a mediocre item. Probably better than Rock, but... Not too much? Uh, I don't know if I want to worry too much about the bird, or I want to try to get daggers. I'm just going to gather some skill points before I decide which one I want to do. Yeah, we'll probably go for daggers. That also gives us access to a couple more stat nodes. Alright, so that should be just about everything that's in the game right now. I don't really want to trade attack. I don't know. I The attack speed tonic does drop your cooldowns, which kind of sucks. Like, the extra attack speed... Don't get me wrong, would be really nice with the bow, because that would actually be giving us... Well, if we go bow dagger as our main weapons, the attacks... The cooldown drop actually probably would be negligible, because we would be actually still attacking faster in the long run. Because cooldowns of your attacks don't start until the attack is completely finished. Which is the whole point of attack speed. So yeah, you know what? We'll grab the attack speed. There was a health potion that dropped up there, and I do kind of want to grab that. That was also bad. <laughs> That's probably even better than the health potion, just getting the big, big experience. Uh, so, yeah, I, I've convinced myself. I think we're going to actually try to grab this. Alright, elites, can you just come get your butts handed to you? No? Fine. Be that way. Alright, uh... We'll take this. I'm not gonna try to make it work all the as much as I sometimes do. Because that does sometimes get me in a bad position. Alright, two damage and crits on the daggers right off the start is wonderful. I will definitely be taking that. Damn it, we actually... Alright, so we're not going to get this probably yet. But that's fine. I just want the big health potions! Or not health, but experience bubbles! Keep calling them health potions. They're like definitely the not health potions. They're completely different items. Alright, we're gonna totally wanna 
kill the other elite, though. Okay, that was a lot faster than I expected after saying that. Alright, so we can... Stand still for a little bit there. Oh, I thought that was going somewhere completely different. That was my bad. Ooh, that was actually kind of dangerous time for him to use that uh, gauge. Alright. Slowly whittling him away. Enemies have stopped dropping experience because... They do that eventually. Alright, if we can just get a couple shots onto the boss, that would be grand. Doesn't really want to. Ah! See, that's why all that attack speed, or er, move speed is nice. So that will actually be very helpful against. Oh god. Alright, we're gonna pick up the ribs. That's too full. Alright. Uh, I don't want any of that. Cost five, one more. All right, there's what we're looking for. This is not. This is actually the bow I would have wanted least. Doesn't look like it has any damage upgrades in it. Sadly, I think this thing's probably still going to end up being pretty important. Damage and projectiles, yes. Cool. Come on, can I have damage? Damage and projectiles, fine. Damage and crit is nice too. I I know I wasted a lot of skill points there, but you kind of need what you you need. I'm gonna go with the sky arrows. I think the sky arrows are probably the better upgrade for the most part. Like you can get some huge chunks of damage with the other one. But this one allows you to. Well, it really makes the whole standstill ability a lot stronger. So, I could... I don't have 15 gold to spend on that shield, so we could try to find that and then do that, because... It's a worthwhile thing. Alright, I guess let's go get this cooldown. Our cooldown is at negative two and a half currently. So we did get a little bit back from uh, the mushroom. And there is the cooldown spot on the tree. So we could get it neutral. Which isn't bad. All right. I, I am not allowed to even let things into the circle. I'm just killing them so fast. Which is a good sign for the power of the build. But it's not really helping me get the tonic. Alright, so we'll just go over here, gather these again. We'll just maybe go this way a little bit. Maybe let's go uh, grab this box. I will take that. No, I want the heal. Heal's a very nice item to have. Alright, now we start clearing through everything that's hanging out in the circle. We didn't really get that much in the circle. Ah! Damn it! I noticed that's a little too late. I heard a money drop. I don't know where that dropped, though, because my attacks are going so far. Alright, let's grab the damage upgrade onto this. Cooldown and penetration. Damage and projectiles. Perfect. Alright, we got the tonic. Emerald tonic. Was that the right one? Attack speed at effect probability was the, the loss. Oh, okay. That's actually completely not bad. 
All right, so let's go over here first. Try to find that health potion that's hanging out right up over there, and I can see. I don't really want to grab that other thing. Actually, you know what? Let's just use this. Clear out everything. Grab a bunch of more experience. Really didn't grab that much. That is easily the worst consumable item. Damn it, I was hoping that guy would die. Like, the, the one health is just, you can just hold on to. That is just amazing to hold on to. Really good for when you get bring it to the, if you can bring it to the boss fights. Alright, so let's get this maxed. And then we need to start putting points into the dagger, because we're going to want to get that as powerful as we can. We want that up to max rank before the end. 21 gold. Gotta try and find the shield again. I believe it should be somewhere around where I am, but I could also be completely off. If we could get the experience suck, that would also be amazing. Oh, charming fungus, new item unlocked. Sick. Don't know what it does. The regular mushroom's amazing, so. It's a better version of that. That would be super cool. Okay, no, this is not where we want to be. I don't know which one this was. I'm sure if, there's an, it, it, if they look a little different, the two shrines. They probably do. I just haven't realized it yet. Alright. Yeah! Not seeing what I want. Okay, these guys aren't really that scary, all things considered. They seemed a lot more terrifying conceptually than they ended up being, which I'm fine with because I was kind of oof. They could heal each other. They would be the most tedious, annoying enemy ever, but they can't. So, okay, that's that's an amazing drop. Gimme, gimme. Nom 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 nom. Oh, that is some num numming. How much experience did I have drop off screen? I am still leveling up! Okay, I stopped leveling up. Guess I just had to announce that I was still leveling up, and then the game's like, THAT'S ENOUGH LEVELS FOR YOU! Fine. Damage and projectiles. Damage and crit. Damage attack speed, sure. Cooldown crit's good, I'm gonna take that. Damage and attack speed, oh god, this thing's gonna- Damage and crit, yes. All right, so with the upgrades we have on the dagger, hmm, do I want, I think I want the triple dagger still. I don't, I wish, it would be almost, you can't really get area, it doesn't really need to grow that much. Like if you got a lot of area on it, you could have a really fun boomerang dagger, but I didn't get any of that. So we're just gonna go with like a super basic kind of dagger setup. See that over there. I want that money. All right. So this first phase is not that scary. The second phase of this guy is horrifying. It's pretty much. I don't know. His attack is too fast for the size of his hurt box. Is my opinion. Because we have a bunch of movement speed, it's not too bad to dodge him. Like he does have a tell when he does his dash. It's just very quick. It kind of sucks because of how... Oh, there we go. Found it. It just kind of sucks because of how big he is. It's hard to get out of the way. Like, this guy would be a pain to fight uh, as... Oh, what's his name? The, the mage guy. Because he doesn't have any sort of way of naturally boosting his move speed. It's like, Thyra at least starts with bonus move speed, and then Axeldor also gets move speed as one in his skill tree. Whew! Yeah, we got some damage... Probably not going to get that five buckaroos that dropped over there. Alright. Bomb. Yeah, we'll just do multi-dagger. Mead is tempting. I... I'm just going to hit reroll. 
Oh, there's that new mushroom. Po no, poisonous mushroom. Oh, never mind. Plus two. After attacking with any relic, you throw a poisonous mushroom that impacts with an enemy and explodes in a cloud. Cool. Okay, this never mind. That's the item I unlocked for completing this difficulty as uh, Thyra. Oh, perfect. All right, we want to get this bow maxed. Then we kind of actually, you know what? We're going to put the point right now into not mastery. I want this one. Shooter. Excellent. We got all of the daggers. Or all of the bows. Not sure if there's another bow. Alright. Now I am projectiles. Random poison clouds. Like this is yeah, this is a powerful build. This went perfect. And we just need to get some good upgrades on the uh, new bow we got. Mani's bow, which I think is the new one. I'm going to take the crits on that. I don't need to buff the bird. I'm not really worrying about the bird. It's kind of just existing there to tickle enemies for very little damage and then kind of push them away. That poisonous mushroom seems like a really solid item, actually. Might make poison builds uh, more of a thing than the not at all that they kind of are because... Poison upgrades aren't amazing. Because, like, I do think the poison bomb is easily Thyra's worst weapon, primarily due to how random it is. But this will allow us to have another way of setting up poison, but there isn't really a big end goal to poison other than just the damage. So, I don't know. We, we could use a couple more poison relics into the game, I think, to really make poison something because there are some because none of the like max upgrades on the poison do anything cool there's some burn ones on some other characters that have some cool stuff but nothing poison related especially because Thyra is the only one that does poison the other two both have access to burn builds ah all right where are you at mister I see you you're hiding in the pond upon the hole all right I'm going to first this cooldown and projectiles is nice. I'll take it. Damage and projectiles. All right, damage and cooldown. Okie dokie. Ah, I took a hit. It's fine though. Now, if we stand still, we get a little bit of cooldown reduction, which is nice. I'm also just mostly standing still, waiting for the flames to end. I can pick that up. Not that that was even a full level at this point. I do hope we can... Wait, I'm not level 3? I thought I was level 3! Or, not level 3, but had 3 skill points. Alright, hopefully we can get a good legendary upgrade on that thing before the end. It's not looking too good for that, honestly. We gotta really focus on picking stuff up then. Damage. Oof. Yeah, especially because looks like I'm going to need to fish for it. Which is not good. Okay. Now that the enemies have a bit of health and they don't get one-shotted, this guy is actually setting up some awful setup for me. I hate him now. I heard a health drop. I don't need it. It's fine. Can you just die, bug? We're just gonna... I think... Mm, I don't even sure if I'm getting another... I shouldn't have tried to even re-roll there. I should have just held onto my skill points and then dumped everything into stats as soon as the boss fight started. That was a bad go on my part. Oh, where's the health? Shoot. That. Oh. 
Oh, this is scary. I'm. I have no idea where that health dropped. That's not good. Yeah, I don't get it. It's fine. I can still go back to full health. I have my consumable. Let's just use it. Oh my god, we bursted her down super quick there. Really got hit by one of the little guys. I didn't even see him there. That was my bad. I do think she's a pretty good final boss, though. For this type of game. It does kind of suck when she runs a little far away. And the start of her phase two does have a bit of an annoying effect. Which, well, you'll see soon. Ah! Alright, so now we gotta stick close to her because... She puts on this shield, and she recovers health during that shield. She can go back up to full, which is annoying. Alright, so we just gotta continue bursting down her health. Alright, so this attack is now... Ow! A little different. It's still not that hard to dodge. I just kind of did that poorly. It's not hard to dodge, I say, as I keep walking into the attacks. There we go. See? Not too bad. It's kind of annoying if you try to fight her with a melee kind of build. Like, she really seems to counter that. Which kind of sucks. At least everyone can kind of do range stuff. It's a little harder to pull it off with Axel Door, but you can do it. It's just, I really like sword and boots are like my favorite weapons of his. So... Those are really not good for this fight. Oh, sounds like we got a health potion to drop. Oh, I see it too. Alright, is she gonna... No, good. Oh, we got some money. I must risk my life for that. Alright, let's, let's keep going. Come on. Arrows! Target the boss! I, I get it, there's a lot of little buggers around, but I do not care too much about them. Ow! Damn it. Wasn't watching there. Oh, damn it. Not able to get that health potion, sadly. Well, I'm glad I got the shield back, but... Alright, come on. We should be almost at There we go. See? There we go. It's doable. <laughs> that actually didn't go poorly at all. That was actually pretty good. I was actually I'm actually happy with that run. I did do it with a character I have won before, but I just wanted to show off, you know. Look at me. I'm a good. I'm actually getting pretty close to uh getting Cyrus skin unlocked, which is nice. So yeah, it really would be nice when they change this so that we can actually continue earning extra leaves because it does kind of the way it's set up the just not getting leaves on recompletion does very much set up a whole like limit to how much you were going to want to play which isn't good because the game's got great stuff in it but like it just feels bad you i uh, i won the run but nothing oh well i i I guess the fun is the run. And uh, it, it was good. <laughs> like, it's making me sound like I'm saying I'm not liking the game. No, I do love the game. I think this is a great game and a fantastic evolution to the genre. But, you know, just mild complaints are allowed. And, yeah. Like, well, the thing is, you don't want to make it too heavy on the meta, meta progression that you just forced to grind it out either, though. It's, it's a tough topic. I, I am aware on that. But either way, so what do I have left to do? I gotta keep buying... Why is that not letting me... Alright, here. So, see what I have left. I gotta die a bit more. Complete Alfheim Hard with Half Grim. Complete Midgard Expert, Alfheim Expert, and Alfheim Hard with X Axeldor. Looks like a rock thing. I wonder if this is gonna be a thing for a rock build. 
That was probably a new weapon, that sword slash dagger. Oh, it's probably a second dagger, so it'll actually work with Thyra's passives. Okay. Fuel. I think the cooldown obelisk. I've never even seen a cooldown obelisk. They say they exist, but I don't know. But either way, hope you had a good time. Hope to see you guys again next time. Bye for now.